solve the equation on number 5 and interpret the solution. So the equation is referring to that helicopter one that we wrote on question 4, which, if memory serves, was 80, that was the number of miles, that's the distance, is equal to the rate, which was 172 over 60 times m. Okay, so this is a fraction that is being multiplied times m. If I wanted to get rid of multiplication, I divide. But whenever you're dividing fractions, you multiply by the reciprocal. Recip, right? So I'm just going to multiply both sides of this by the reciprocal, which is 60 over 172. So I have 60 over 172 times 80 is equal to m. And this is just a calculator problem. We're just going to stick that into the calculator. You can stick it in just like you see it and uh, see what's what. So whenever I put this into the calculator here, let's see, what do I get? I get about, um, looks like it's about 27.9. About 27.9. Okay, so here's our answer whenever we round it. And now we have to interpret that. What the heck does that mean? So it's the value for m. m was the number of minutes. That's what we wrote down, the number of minutes in order to get to the hospital. So what this means is that it's going to take about 28 minutes for that helicopter to get to the hospital. So about 28 minutes left to get to the hospital. And, and hopefully, whatever's wrong with that person that's in the helicopter can survive at least uh, another half an hour before they get fixed.